yourself. In fact, keep in mind. Okay? So, class, may I call on Ivy to lead the prayer.
The sun is a source of light and energy for plants. They take energy from the light of the sun, carbon dioxide from the air, and water to make glucose, which is a sugar that plants store for energy. Plants are also filled with vitamin D, an important nutrient for animals, as a result of the sunlight they absorb. The energy from the sun is transferred from plants to animals when animals feed the plants. Animals also benefit from the sun's effect on their bodies, because sunlight on skin produces vitamin D, which is important in the formation of strong bones. Okay, well said. The sun has a beneficial effect to humans, plants, and also animals. So, sun has a beneficial effect or a positive effect to everyone surrounds us. So, plants. again in the three. So, I'll give you a picture for group one, for group two, and group three. So, the things that you are going to do is to observe the picture. Okay? And write your observation on a piece of paper. Then, choose someone to report that in front. Okay? So, I'll give you two minutes to do it. Start now. Okay, class, before I forgot. So the basis of the points on that activity is this rubric. So content, teamwork, and also the timeliness. So class, less talk and more work. So I need you to pay attention and work with your activity. No rooming around. Is that clear, class? Clear. Okay, done. So let's learn more about the sun's beneficial effect to human, plants, and also animals. So let me call on the first group to present their observation about the picture. So, the representative. We observe that plant can survive without, without the sun. Okay, so plant, plants cannot survive without the help of the sun because plants can make their own food through the process of photosynthesis and with that process they need the sun's heat and light so next group present your work it can dry wet things okay do it again group two Okay, so they observe that animals need the sun. So, of course, as humans and also plants, animals also need the sun in order for them to survive. So, everyone here in this world needs the sun in order for them to survive. Okay, next group, present your answer or present your observation. We observe that Okay, so humans need a sunlight, okay, because sun is the source of our energy. So us humans like me and you need the sun in order for us to stay alive, awake, and also alert. So, class. Did you know that humans are most benefited of the sun's heat and light? Just like housewives, they can dry their clothes through the presence of sunlight. And also, recreational activities are done during sunny season or sunny days, like going to the beach or going to mountain climbing. And also class, 
farmers can easily dry up their crops just like corn or even the agricultural products. So next is the fishermen. So fishermen also benefited the sun's heat in life because their crops easily dry up or easily preserved with the help of the sun. And it's good to catch fish during sunny days or sunny season also. Now, class, let's elaborate more about the sun's effect, heat, and light. So let's play a game. I have here the golden ball. So the mechanics of the game is to pass the ball. And then, while well, music is playing, and then whoever holds the ball while well, the music stops, I will ask question and to her or his. So, are you ready, class? Of course, yes. So let's start. Sunset 
and life, we already talked about the positive effect or the beneficial effect of sun's heat and light. Now, for the extension of knowledge, or to extend your knowledge, research on harmful effect of sun's heat and light on living things. Okay? So learn about or search about the harmful effect about the sun's heat and light. So class, I hope you've learned something today. So that's it for today. Have fun and have a nice day.